Scientists in Nyanza have reported remarkable strides towards adopting the USAID proposal dubbed 1990-90. The targets to have 90% of those infected by HIV know the status, enrolled into antiretroviral therapy programs, and be virally suppressed by 2020. As Oko Kusa reports, the researchers have also disclosed that in the greater Nyanza region, where 64% of people living with HIV AIDS are on treatment, over 90% are virally suppressed, meaning that they are healthy and productive. Dr. Maxwell Majiwa said that the achievement was as a result of what scientists call viral measurement, which is a vital tool used to assess the impact of HIV treatment efforts, a primary method recommended by World Health Organization for monitoring response to treatment. This recommendation is based on research dem demonstrating that viral, viral load suppression is associated uh, with decreased HIV disease progression and mortality among uh, people living with HIV. Although stakeholders were initially reluctant to adopt viral load as a means of monitoring treatment, currently most funders and national programs strongly support the scaling up of access to routine viral load monitoring. Given that viral load measurement is a lab-based assay, so your, viral, your level of the virus in yourself is tested uh, in the lab, we have shown you equipment that does that, uh, samples are referred to the lab and they are tested. Um, many people may misunderstand the challenge of viral load scale-up as only the need for qualified laboratory staff. According to Dr. Majiwa, the process requires specific, accurate, efficient, and reliable diagnostic equipment capable of handling large volumes of samples and give results within the shortest time possible for timely management of the patients. So we, we receive about a thousand samples every day. If you don't have a very efficient, very specific, and highly throughput equipment, uh, you will not release results within the timeline that uh, is uh, beneficial for the patient. This is the biggest molecular analyzer in the world. In the world. In the world. And uh, we launched it as Roche Diagnostics uh, two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was among the first first sites in, Af in the world, actually, mm -hmm. to get this analyzer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ukokusa, NTV.